Hi everyone, Digga here, and today I have some Gachapon goodies. We have the wood carved animals by Seiji Kawasaki, some battle cats, some bugs. Let's hop right in. Can you dig it? So first off is this lovely little set of wood carved animal figures by the artist Seiji Kawasaki. My friend Jen showed me that these existed and I had to get them immediately. They're so, so cute. So I got these from Amazon Japan and they, they came in a, a nice full complete set as per usual. Let's just roll these out on the table, shall we? Oh, they're all over the place. Look at them. I love that really satisfying gotcha capsule sound. So let's get started, shall we? We have all of these lovely little capsules. So many friends, so little time. Let's take a look inside. Mm. All right. Very sturdy, too. We have, first of all, ooh, the taper. Oh, I love this. Love this so much. These are so freaking cute. These little wood carved animals. Unbelievable. Mm. Also very mm, sturdy. Yeah, there we go. Woo. Very strong. So this is what they look like. This is one of the little wood carved friends and you can see that it really does capture that wood carving look very nicely. This is the adorable little taper. Little tiny eyes. Very, very nice sculpting. The color separation is pretty sweet. Even like on the ears here, you'll see that there's, um, they have the outlines kind of for shading. Or maybe that's just kind of how it looks when it's uh, it's all crafted up. I don't know. There's even a tiny smile here. How adorable. Look at that. Oh, that's actually a big smile. Very, very happy friend. Uh, so it almost looks like... Um, it gives me the vibes of a sort of like a PS1 game or a, a polygon creature. Maybe I don't... I can't think of any of the games. Like Cubivore maybe? That's GameCube. That's not a good frame of reference. I don't know. Uh, so it, it does have this sort of uh, almost like, I mean, the, besides the wood carving, it looks very honeycomb-esque, almost. So that's really cute. I like that a lot. He's so tiny, he's just going to be sitting there in the emptiness of space. And I'm going to go ahead and just move the capsule part off to the side, and we'll go over all of them one by one, rather than showing the full banner. I think it's more fun that way. It's more exciting for the gotcha pawn reveal. I'm going to be using these capsules for stuff cuz they're uh, they're pretty pretty darn nice. Let's see, who do we have here? Eh. Oh, here we go. We have a kitty cat. That is freaking adorable. Look at the that chunky tail. <laughs> it's almost like uh <laughs> <laughs> so you can just hold it like a like a handbag or something. <laughs> Look at that little face. The way the whiskers are carved in, the way that the um sort of the the black and the um almost like a like a chocolatey sepia brown mixture. It's like a little tabby. That's so cute. Again, yeah, the the wood carving aesthetic just translates so well into these little figures and they're so so cute look at those nubs look at those big old chonky nubs are those um it's not really focusing but i think there's a signature on there like at the the bottom left paw i can't really see it so i have to take my word for it maybe it comes across better on the camera yeah there we go they're so tiny you could just like uh just kind of like squish them. Good. All right, next up, who do we have on this lovely little animal adventure? Oh, oh this one's pretty huge. We got a bear. <laughs> Look at this hefty lad. I'm going to have to like ugh, maneuver this off to the side for a second. Oh, gosh, this is a thing's huge. Donk. Look at this heckin' massive, gigantic, bulbous bear. Full of brown goodness. That didn't work out pretty well, did it? Looking very, um, very pristine, very hefty. 
even got the big old tail. I love it. I love it so much. That blank stare. It's like when you see a bear in the woods and you actually literally have no idea what to do. You gotta remember your rules of the bears. Uh, what was it like? Um, a brown, brown if, you're, if it's brown, lie down. If it's... Uh, dead, I don't know. You gotta watch out for those bears in the woods. You gotta be careful. Uh, there is sort of a... Uh, like a line down the middle. I believe that's for assembly. It doesn't really take away from the aesthetic too much. I mean, it really does blend in. Yeah. I love it. I love the... I mean, the eyes are perfectly placed. The nose is right where it needs to be. It's kind of got... Uh, well, I'm freaking out here. <laughs> it's like an autofocus party. You got the big smiley mouth. You can't go wrong. It's freaking huge. All right, when we are already halfway done, it is a little series of six, so, you know, can't really complain. And I just dropped the boar on the ground. Here he is. This one is probably my favorite, this wild boar. The sort of, uh, like, the, um, the gray, almost like a, a mahogany gray in comparison with the cream of the tusks. And, of course, the adorable little face up front. You know it. It's got all of the, um, all the usual polygons and whatnot. There's not an insane amount of stuff to say about these, but it's going to be a gush fest anyway. You got the big old nose staring right at you. You got the big honking tail. It's a good time. Good time was had by all. What's next? <clears throat> we have, oh... Well, hello there. Ugh. This is the Shiba Inu. Wow. That swirl tail, though. Actually, <laughs> I was, I was going to try to make the Shiba my favorite, but it might actually be... I don't know. Taper and the boar are pretty strong, but look at this guy. He's got, like, an entire... Just extra set of charismatic charm to him he's like you know, he's like kind of staring at an angle it's like what you up to how's it going he's got the big cinnamon bun tail the white wrapping he's got the bottom you know it he's got the <laughs> he's got the buns <laughs> he's so freaking cute the eyes are kind of offset he kind of, it really does evoke the, the Doge meme. I wasn't going to go into like, yeah, it's, it's Doge, wow, such such polygon, many woodwork. But he, he really does have that stare going, doesn't he? And everything else seems pretty nice. I, I'm really enjoying his coloring too. He's got almost like a, um, like an auburn and a, uh, a bit of a, uh, like a half and half cream color mixture. I don't know. And last but not least, we have a big old... Oh gosh, this one's a little harder to open up. I'll do it on camera anyway. We have the otter. Adorable. Okay, well, the hardness to open somehow, for some reason, translated over to the wiggliness of the inside bag. But let's not have a problem with that. Here is the otter. Looking very dapper, actually. The... Uh, Almost looks like it has a big old beard because of the way that it's sculpted. <laughs> it's just, well, like a big old uh, twirly mustache. Uh, yeah, see? I'll give you what for. I'll take you down to the train station and uh, you'll be the main event. Ha ha. <laughs> He's even got those really, really tiny ears. Absolutely microscopic. I love this so much. Just the pattern, all the woodworking stuff is so cool. The way that, I mean, it's not made of wood. It's made of like a like a sturdy plastic, but these really do give off that woodworking vibe so nicely. I'm gonna have to zoom in later because these are so tiny. They're microscopic. I love them so much. Okay, so let's take a quick look at the banner. This is the insert that shows off all the lovely characters. We have the bear, we have the Shiba Inu, there is the kitty cat, 
the otter, the taper, the boar, and there is also a secret, which, uh, based off of a lot of really obscure searching, is a bear with a cub, and that's really cute. I don't exactly need it. The collection's not complete, but, you know, it's, um, that's really cool. On the back, there's a bunch of QR codes. I can't really use those. And that was the Seiji Kawasaki Woodworking Animal Gachapon series. Very small, absolutely adorable. I had to buy them immediately, and I'm so glad I did. I really, really love these a lot. Let's go ahead and move on to the extra bonuses. All right, so next up, we have these two uh, funky-looking gachapon sets. I picked these up a while ago at my local import market, and I've been trying to figure out when to unbox them, and I figured I might as well toss them onto this video. Let's start with this tiny guy right here. These are the Battle Cats, and they're by a uh, company called Ponos Corp. I think they're based off of a mobile game that became a video game franchise, or maybe the other way around? Or maybe they're just based off of some doodles. I don't know. You have these really silly battle cats, and there's all sorts of crazy stuff going on. You have like a like a business cat, a long cat, some kind of kaiju cat. This one you can see straight up has like uh, level 100 paladin armor or something. This one's got a big old tuft of hair. There's some sort of uh, egg dog lion back there. Uh, this one is a tourist. I heart something. There's also this one over here that seems to be exploding, or rather, it's some kind of a, a giant rock. It's either a volcano or a body lifter, or a bodybuilder. And then down here, there's one that's kind of just like riding on top of a whale, just kind of chilling with a little uh, umbrella. These are really funny. I saw these on uh, Amazon Japan a long time ago, and I think this is like the third series, as indicated by the three. It's so good that I can read. Nice. At the top here, we have some more friends. We have uh, what appears to be a double-stuffed goober, some sort of uh, giant uh, Clefairy hybrid, a special cameo appearance by Temmie. Wow, that's really cool. Good to see you, Tem. And then there's one that's straight up just riding like a, a big old dragon. What the heck? And a squishy friend. This is probably the super rare. Find the translucent clear one. There's 14 to get. Yeah, off to the side, uh, usual stuff. Don't choke on this, kids. Don't be silly. Uh, this is uh, information about the chewing gum that comes in this, because it is, it is a uh, candy toy. Nothing on the bottom. And, of course, on the back, we have a bunch of friends, 14 of them to find. Um, top of the ones we saw earlier. Let's see if there's any new ones that stick out. Yeah, I think these are all the ones we've seen already. So let's just open it up, shall we? I've literally only seen this one box and nothing ever again. So let's see what we got. Personally, I'm hoping for the whale one or the one with the battle armor. And if not that, the one riding the dragon. What do we got here? Oh! Okay, um, apparently, in the one that I have gotten, <laughs> with my usual gosh upon luck, I got the rare one. All right, all right, cool, 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 cool. My gosh, okay, well, you know, I, I can't complain. It's very stylish looking, very translucent. It's very, uh, it's, it's like a finger puppet almost. Let's open it up. Yeah, oh my gosh, this is a really, really adorable little figure. Look at this material, it's like, um, how do you describe it? It's not, it's not like silicone. It's, it's kind of just, you know, you know, the, um, you know, those little poppers, the ones where you push down, you put them on the table and then they uh, pop back up like, uh, you know, pop. that's the consistency. If you can get that frame of reference, then I think you're pretty much set. So yeah, I got, I don't know if this is the rare one. I mean, it just kind of like, it shows it's a sparkly, you know, Kira Kira, very, very shiny. I'm thinking maybe it is. Like, he's, he's right there, see? In person, it's uh, it's not like... Uh, it's not exactly like a white color. Like, here's the uh, one of the tops of the capsules from the Woodworking Animal Friends. This one is like a translucent, obviously. It's, you know, but... Oh, now he's in space. <laughs> DuckTales. And now he's been trapped. 
So yeah, that was really cute. Apparently, it, this is either the rare, rare one or it's just special. There's the usual stuff on the back. I like it. Can't complain. So next, we're going to take a look at these uh, bugaboos, these beetles and stag beetles. Beetles are, you know, huge in Japan. Kids collect them during the summer. People like them. They're used in everything. And this is, um, usually I don't get these, but there's something about this comic style packaging that was super aesthetically pleasing. You got like the kaboom, the bang, kua, pow, beetle. Stag Beetle, Zap, F Toys, F's in chat, everyone. Beetle and Stag Beetle Hunter. So these are uh, like, I don't know if they're model kits. I think they're just like the regular candy toy figures. Size, KO. I like this top one a lot. This is the one I would probably want. On the back, we have our assortment here. And uh, they're, these are looking very ferocious. I do like these designs a lot. I think the reason why I bought this is because I wanted the bottom one. Like, the, the, these two these two are very aesthetically pleasing. Honestly, any of these beetles would be pretty cool. But I, I really like the gold here. Like, if you zoom in pretty close on here, he's kind of got his own sort of, like, leaf gold. But at the same time, this behemoth here has like a almost like a cookies and cream coloring with the big horn. Let's, you know, I just want to open this bad boy. Beetle and Stag Beetle Hunter. Let's not forget to look at the top and some other stuff. Bottoms empty. Bottoms up. I don't know why I tried to grab on the box when I could use the pull tab. Let's open it up. <clears throat> We have the gum, which is also with the other friend. It's the standard stuff. That's why I didn't show it last time. But it was at the top of the box, so I got it. Yeah. Who do we get? Oh. Check this bad boy out. That's actually pretty nice quality. My gosh. So this was number two. It comes in this big old tray here. Looks like it's got some tape. Tape's not going to stop me. I can just rip this sucker open. Bam. So here's our beetle friend, and the level of detail here is just really, really nice for a candy toy. I feel like I say that a lot, but I'm always impressed. I guess because of our standards here in the U.S., we don't get this sort of high quality for like eight, seven bucks. But you'll see, oh, it feels especially like super realistic. Ugh, it's like, um, like I'm actually holding on to some uh, real beetle I just pulled from a tree. Check out that magnificent horn. You'll see it's got all oh, the realistic eyes too. It's actually kind of cute. And by kinda, I mean super cute. It has this sort of uh, nice, almost uh, sluggish green. Is that a descriptor? Kind of like um, like a, an unripe banana's worth of green. It has this sort of chestnut shading on the top. The horns are the sort of... Uh, darker oak color. I like that we just have the little guy chilling back there. It's pretty funny. He's got a cute little face. He's got these little mandibles sticking out. He's got the horn. Are these articulated? Oh! Oh my goodness! Oh! He's- <laughs> he could just have a little party here! <laughs> I apologize. I lost myself for a second there. Uh, so this is, uh, like the- the sort of chestnut shading across the entire shell. It's really, really nice. The mandibles have the, uh, this- I don't know if you can tell on camera. But it does have its own separate shades of a like a lighter brown that fades into the black. It's the most detail I've ever put into a bug video. I like it. I, I like that I have to also do an articulation review for this too. Because <laughs> he's got articulation going on. So this is how he'd be on the tree, I guess. He'd, you know, be sipping sap or whatever he does. On the back side, he has like a sort of job of the hut color in here. He's got like a like a nitty gritty sort of grayish green that goes up into an oozing slimer dull gray color green. Very vivid imagery, but at least you can kind of get my frame of reference here. I keep accidentally moving him around before I can show off the articulation, but I don't know if that's like the, the number one reason for people to watch a beetle unboxing. <laughs> what do I know? There's probably some people who have these beetle collections of hundreds of thousands of videos on YouTube. There's a big world out there. These little bottom parts here are uh, sort of a uh, nice mahogany as well. I don't really know another descriptor besides like a chocolatey mahogany sort of uh, nice luscious coloring. Ugh, luscious beetles. Ugh. 
Anyway, that's enough of that. Let's look at this articulation he apparently has. The head itself can move, I want to say like a 360. Oh, oh, that's cool and also unsettling. Yeah. You can nod up and down. You can go, you know, rock back and forth. I like it. But, uh, you know, if you're not good at bugs, I'm fine at bugs. Unless there's a spider on my wall that comes out of nowhere at 3 a.m., in which case, I'm sorry, spider bro, but you shouldn't have shown up at that time. Uh, the top of the body has a segment here that lets you go 360 as well. Oh, my gosh. Oh, the possibilities. You can rock up and down. You have just enough. Like, this is more articulation than most, like... 3.75 inch figures have and this is a beetle <laughs> uh, the, so the head the the top of the body the little uh, arms here have a little bit of movement but it's kind of just like um it's almost like a uh like a scritchy scratchy sort of movement like uh he's sharpening his blades he's you know he's he's gonna get you you better watch out so i guess if you need like really good bug articulation this is your number one stop yeah you can have it, you can, he's got like, uh, he's going like, yo, we just finished a diss track. <laughs> he's just like, yo, cat, I'm a Hercules beetle. What you gotta say? I'm trying to live my life in the Hercules way. I'm going to be real cool. Going to be real smart. I know you can't keep up, but hey, at least it's a start. Yo. <laughs> he's just kind of like crosses there. That's so cool. And um, then down in the bottom of the body, it moves in proportion to the rest of it. All of the individual legs, it seems like the middle ones are kind of just like, oh, no, wait, they're not glued in. There's a tiny bit of upward, outward movement. Just a little bit, a little smack roll, just about as much as you would need from having a beetle on a tree, I guess. Uh, I feel like if I move it any further, it might snap, so I'm not going to do that. However, the bottom half, uh, th these are, uh, I should mention... The articulation is tethered to the under parts, so you can move it up and down as far as you can. These bottom ones, you can kind of make, like, it almost looks like an angry spider face, like, Rrr. This actually kind of just looks like an alien upside down, which is basically what bugs are anyway. Ugh. So yeah, those legs can move wherever you want. This is a very, very detailed bugaboo. I mean, I'm super impressed by this. I mean, like, the last time I bought a... Uh, a bug figure it wasn't especially like movement oriented it's kind of just like cheap plastic so that was a quick little look at some fun gachapon toys and i hope you had a good time i love these little wood carving creatures the beetle is very high quality and i kind of want to get more now i don't know if they're still going to be available and then also the uh the battle cats are freaking hilarious and i'm I was honestly not expecting to get the super rare one uh, i was kind of just like hoping for one of the regular battle ones it's fine I've been looking at those online. Maybe I'll try to get some more later. And that's going to be it. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.